Wuha ya pow! Yo, what is up there, guys? It's the Wiz back at it again for another Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory video right here, right now. So let's get right to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are literally just one week away from this game's release, and what can I say? I am super excited to be spending sixty dollars on a rhythm game. <laughs> What the, what can I say? I'm always simping for anything Kingdom Hearts. But on a more serious note, no, I actually am genuinely excited for this game. You are going to be spending hours upon hours of it, and I personally cannot wait. So, of course, you know, we have some more news and information, some really interesting things, so let's go ahead and start talking about it. So, number one, for those of you that might have missed out, Mickey Mouse is indeed going to be a summon within the game. Now, you can summon him by using the item known as King Squall. Now, it's unclear whether or not this is an item that you get just throughout the game is this something that you have to synthesize but nonetheless it is cool to see that your boy Mickey Mouse will be making an appearance kind of reminds me of those good old Kingdom Hearts 2 days where you know you purposely kill yourself so you can play as Mickey Mouse but Mickey Mouse will appear as the fourth party member within the battlefield and one thing that's very interesting about Mickey Mouse's summon is that depending on which team you are using Mickey Mouse will have a different outfit to correspond with that team as you can clearly see in this image over here we've got Sora, Goofy, and Donald, and Mickey Mouse in this Kingdom Hearts 2 attire. If you go ahead and check out this picture over here, you've got Team Days, and you've got Mickey Mouse in the organization outfit, looking absolutely fantastic. And now, of course, you have Team Birth by Sleep with Mickey Mouse once again. And I find it really funny how they shove Terra to the back, like, yo, we gotta keep this boy back before he screws things up over here. <laughs> but uh, this is really cool and interesting. One thing that I definitely am very curious about is that it says that Mickey Mouse is the fourth uh, additional party member. So does that mean these characters that have been pushed to the side are also actually going to be able to attack? I'm going to assume they are. And if they are, that's actually going to be really cool. Because, you know, maybe you're so focused on one thing that an enemy will pass you. And that back character like Terra, Shion, or Donald will be able to attack. So who would be a little lightsaber over there? That is really awesome. Although I do find it really hilarious how Mickey Mouse is able to squeeze in there. But for some reason, when it comes to the other Disney characters, characters um they just replace one of the other characters that are already on your team which i think is a little bit unfortunate over here but speaking of other disney characters we have some more images over here this one is really interesting i'm so happy we've got your boy stitch with sora and donald and we've got beast over here looking really really cool but continuing right along we also have a look at some of the menu as we have played from the demo you know we have sora goofy donald in traverse town but it looks like the menu is going to be changing probably depending on which team you use as you can clearly see here we have team days and oh my god bro i love the menu with these guys <laughs> It's so beautiful. Them sitting on top of the clock tower eating the sea salt ice cream. Love it. Then we go ahead and check out Team Birth by Sleep. We've got Terra, Ventus, and Aqua chilling over here. And then, of course, we have last but not least Team Dream Drop Distance with Riku and the Dream Eaters. I'm curious if Mickey Mouse is going to be a summon here, too. And if he is a summon, I wonder what his outfit is going to be. If I have to take a guess, it's most likely is going to be its Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. And last but not least, we have something here that's very, very interesting. It is none other than a Kingdom Hearts. Hearts 3 render of Kyrie. However, though, it's rendered in the old school Kingdom Hearts style. Like, bro, this is something that I've seen when it comes to MMD videos and whatnot. What? Your girl's looking pretty good. And I gotta be honest, after seeing this, I kind of wouldn't have mind if Kingdom Hearts 3 just had the old school look. First off, we would have got the game so much more sooner. But you know, oh, graphics, that's what matters nowadays. But wow, this really makes me think, yeah, I would have enjoyed Kingdom Hearts 3 if it looked like the old school style. I would have been perfectly fine with that. But it's also just like really interesting to note, like, why did they do a render of this? Now, it could clearly be just for promotional uh, purposes. I mean, after all, Kyrie is going to be narrating the entire story, so it makes sense to give her another render, unless this is telling me that maybe, just maybe, low-key Kyrie might actually be playable? then that's going to be really interesting. Like, maybe she will have a final boss and she'll be like, my friends are my power, and it'll be her and she'll have like a hallucination version of like Riku and Sora fighting alongside her. Like, yo, the Destiny trio actually working together fighting a villain or whoever that mass hooded figure is. If we even fight the mass hooded figure, I don't know. I'm just saying that this makes me think just 
possibly, possibly Kyrie might be playable. Now the only other thing that is also making me think that maybe she might be playable is that if you look at the trophy list, there is a picture of Kyrie wielding the Keyblade that you get for completing the game. So again, just a possibility, who knows, I could be completely wrong. Might be overthinking this, but you know, that's just how it is when you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. <laughs> But guys, that is basically it for this video. What I want to know in the comments section below, of course, is hey, what do you think of Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory? Are you excited? Which world are you most excited to go back and revisit? What do you think about this render of Kyrie? Hmm, could it possibly be hinting at her being playable? Or do you think it's just for promotional purposes? And last but not least, will you be picking up Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory? And if you are, which system are you going to be getting it for? Or are you just going to watch all the cutscenes on YouTube? So, you know, guys, leave all your comments in the comment section below. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big, massive thumbs up as that helps me and the channel out quite immensely. If you're on already, you can follow me on my Twitter. Same thing as my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. I'm also on Instagram, which is MadSwag12345, where I post all the good stuff. So until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say bye, pal. We'll see you soon.